Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this one we're going to learn about grouping. You can tap the Animate tab at the top, then tap the black timeline to preview what the final result will look like. But let's start this one from scratch as well. Tap the layout, then look over to the Elements panel. You'll find a group with a message to swipe it to the left and delete. This will start you with a mostly blank slate. You'll notice there's an extra kid available for you over to the side. You can zoom around your canvas, select the kid, and put him in the center. If you have your own photo you'd like to cut out, here's a reminder of how that was done. Using the plus button, navigate to your photo, then using the image cutter, trace around the edges to import your image. Let's find a cape for him to wear. Swipe up to reveal the dock and select Safari. Let's do a Google search for cape. We'll search just images and use the search tools feature. Under color, we'll select transparent. This will find out items that are already cut out. Long press and drag it into Core Animator, and since it's already cut out, we can choose as is. The cape is in front of the child, so let's long press and move its layer below. Position the cape along with its anchor point in the proper positions. There, that looks about right. Let's go back to Safari and grab a drop shadow that we want to use. Using the same technique, we find the circular drop shadow that we can add to our project. Let's use the vertical scale tool to flatten it out and then size it to fit our project. Perfect. We want the child and the cape to become one group so that we can move them around as one superhero. Let's use the multi select at the bottom of the toolbar on the left. This allows us to select both items, then tap the group folder icon and they're put into the same group. As you group items, you may want to rename them so you know what you have. I'm going to move the anchor point to the bottom of the superhero group, and then let's move on to the animation. We'll move our playhead to one second. We know we want all smooth motions, so let's define our next easing style as in-out. This will be saved for all future keyframes made. We select the superhero group, and using the move vertical tool, we can move him down at one second. Now that's not quite enough motion, so let's move the playhead to zero seconds and move him up. That's about right. We'll double tap the loop icon to get a nice up and down flying effect. Putting the playhead at one second again, we can make rotation adjustments to the cape. And to add more interest to the cape, let's move to a quarter of a second and scale it vertically. Along with the auto reverse loop, let's see what we have. That looks great. One more subtle effect to the superhero. We'll select the group, and also at one second, we'll vertically scale our hero to squish just a little bit, and stretch at the top. Almost done. Now let's adjust the shadow as our hero flies above. With the playhead at zero, and the superhero high up in the air, let's turn down the opacity. Now we scrub to one second, and let's turn the opacity all the way up. We'll auto reverse that loop, and preview again. Now just to add the text. Using the plus sign on the toolbar, we'll add a text element. Let's type in Captain Underpants. You'll notice we don't see our normal text options in the Elements panel. This is because we're in Animate mode, and some of these text options are not animatable. So we need to go out to Layout mode to make other adjustments. We'll change the font, the color, and position it where we want. Then we'll drag it below the superhero so that he can fly in front. The last thing to note is the canvas background color. Just as with all elements, we can swipe to the left to reveal properties of the canvas. You'll see that there's a video selector, which we'll use in a later project, and there's also a color. We can delete the color to have transparent, or we can select any color we wish. We'll use this nice blue color. Then we'll hit the share screen, adjust our GIF settings appropriate for texting, and select export. Nicely done. Thanks for watching.